Hello friends, this video is about code bloating. Maybe some of you guys would have already heard about this code bloating and maybe you don't. So let's just check out what is code bloating. And I have this definition for you. Code bloat is a production of code that is perceived as unnecessary, long, slow or otherwise wasteful of resources. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So first of all, I will just write a simple code like this. String str. Rupesh Yadav and I'll just print this okay so what do you think is there any problem in this code yes there is a problem actually the problem is not you are doing some logical error or something no the problem is something else I will show you that first I will just compile this code so there is no error it is working fine but there is one error which is called code blotting okay what you are doing here is you are unnecessarily creating this string variable here so the result of this line would be you will call a constructor of this string class okay and you will initialize this constant character string into that okay and this whole thing will take some time and you are just printing that okay so instead of creating this variable you could have just simply put this here okay no need to create this string you can just simply put this here and yeah it will compile and which is a obvious thing and don't tell me that that string is useful for let's suppose i might give some another name to this string no i'm not arguing about that i'm arguing let's suppose there was a big program like this and thousands and lakhs of lines program and when it ended you just printed something like exit okay okay and you did it like this you wrote that exit into some string and you are printing that string and after that you are returning from the function i mean the main and everything is over so there was this waste initialization there was no need of doing this okay but still you did so this is a code bloating you are unnecessarily writing extra code okay so this called this is called code blotting there are another example also i'll tell you that also okay so this is first example and second example is something like this let's suppose you did like this there is a requirement for you like you need to create a address string which is composition of www.google.com and this is how you are doing it okay and this is not going to change because this is google address okay so this is google address it is not going to change is it it is always going to remain google.com but still you are doing these much thing to get this google address but instead of doing this much you could have simply written this www.google.com here itself okay or just here itself okay are you getting my point what i'm trying to tell you we are not supposed to create variables and any resources which is really not required and if you are doing that then you are coming into the code blotting stuff okay so this is second example and what do i mean by you could have just simply written here oh my god i use two three laptops keywords are different that's why i face lots of problem here oh my god instead of writing this i could have just simply www.google.com okay so you could have written something like this instead of doing this much okay remove all this crap if you really don't want that okay and why because google address is always going to be same i mean the google search engine go google.com okay so no need to take www separately google separately com separately after that adding and all that no no need of doing stuff so next time if you write program you keep this in your mind that are you going to create a code blotting if not go ahead okay so this is a kind of question mark in your head whenever you write any api or something okay so this is second example third example is inline functions we all know if you are writing some class let's suppose base and if you are writing something like print in this function i mean the class and this is printing some value 
let's suppose x and there is this underscore x here and it is something like this okay so we all know this print function is inline function okay whatever the function is there inside class i mean the member functions are automatically inline functions compiler write inline like this oh, like this okay when you go for compilation it will append this inline at front of all the functions i mean the member functions so by default all member functions are inline functions okay and whether it is inline or not it is compiled time decision okay so if you are using this like base b1 and b1 dot print then it might replace this b1 dot print with this whole code here okay and let's suppose you are writing something like this see out hey i am going to print underscore x okay so you think instead of one line you will be replacing two lines okay this is two line actually there is a semicolon here okay so let and let's suppose you are doing this for thousand times so for thousand line you are doing for two thousand line okay so that is becoming code blotting your image size will increase i mean the executable size will increase so this is also a code blotting example okay so i think i'm done here i just wanted to show you a new word in programming code bloating it is there and this is taken from wikipedia this definition so if you like the video like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video